guys welcome back to another video this week in the kitchen i will be showing you guys how i prepare my peanut butter almond cookie if you love peanut butter then you may like this dessert this week um if you're new to the channel thank you so much for stopping by if you are a returning viewer thank you so much for supporting the channel and being part of the channel again um if you guys like peanut butter this may be the treat for you um some of the ingredients we will be using is butter one egg we only need one egg guys i have some almonds you guys can see that they're just like a, a um, chopped up almond i have a peanut butter mix here and it's just a uh, regular pillsbury peanut butter mix and you can get it from your local Publix, walmart target wherever you shop i'm quite sure you can find this peanut butter mix so on the back it's telling us to use uh, six tablespoons of butter and one egg so that's what i have here and i already have that um out here so um also guys i am going to be just throwing over into these cookies some white chocolate morsels so just to give it a little umph and to spice up these cookies we're going to be adding over the white um uh, uh, white um uh, uh morsels into the cookie mix and as well as almonds so it should be um a great a great treat um so if you guys are interested and it's something that you think you want to try to make Go ahead and pick these items up from your local um wherever you do your shopping so let's get started <clears throat> first things first guys what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to open up my um peanut butter mix here i don't know about you guys but i love peanut butter and i also love chocolate <laughs> so um this week's dessert i decided not to do anything chocolate we're going to switch it up and we're going to do something different so that's what sparked the peanut butter cookies. So we're gonna go ahead and get this mixture over into our uh, our bacon um, our bacon bowl, Ugh, our mixing bowl. <laughs> okay. So I have that there. Okay. Then what we're gonna do, guys? We're gonna go ahead and crack over our one egg. If you guys know, eggs are really expensive now at the grocery store. So I try to do uh, desserts right now that does not require a lot of eggs because eggs are really, really high now, <laughs> you know? So let's go ahead and get this one egg cracked over here. I was trying to start the video, guys, and you guys know Oakley Bear, that's our dog. He just kept barking. So I was like, you know what, Oakley, let us get this video done, you know? <laughs> let's get this video done. <clears throat> okay. So next, what we're going to do, guys, we're going to go ahead and add over our butter. And this is just a uh, stick of a portion of a, uh, the Emperor butter. You can use whatever kind of butter or um, whatever you have on hand. It does not have to be Emperor. That's just what I'm using. Okay, so I'm going to hold it up so you guys can see. You guys can see that. Hopefully you guys can see they have my egg, the butter, and the mixture. We're going to go ahead and get that mixed. And I'm just going to use my handy dandy spoon. And if you know me, you know I just grab my spoon. Uh, oftentimes I do use my mixer. I have a hand mixer. But today we're not going to do that. We're just going to go ahead and get this mixed over with the spoon. Okay. So I'm going to mix it up and I'm going to let you guys see what it's looking like. And I'm quite sure everybody knows how to make a, you know, mix up a cookie mix. <laughs> You can make these um, by scratch, guys. Some people, they love to do stuff by scratch. Um, by all means, if that's what you want to do, you can make your chocolate chip cookies from scratch. Today, we're not going to do it by scratch. We're going to do um, use a mixture. I try to make it simple because, you know, um, not everybody who watches a channel is a seasoned uh, cook. So that's okay because I try to make it simple and easy for you guys. You know, some people are beginning, you know, cook. Some people are not. Um, but by any means, the challenge is for everyone. Whatever level of cooking you're on or baking you're on, this channel is, is you know, it, it, you know, it can teach you as well as it, you know, sometimes you guys uh, tell me stuff in the comments that I never even knew. So, you know, it's okay. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get this mixed up and then um, get our uh, baking sheets sprayed with oil. <clears throat> it smells really good guys you want it extra creamy or if you're doing it um from scratch you can go ahead and add you know maybe a spoonful of um peanut butter in here okay
Okay. So I'm kind of just folding, folding this uh, cookie mix, cookie batter <laughs> as I go along. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna hold it up a little bit, let you guys see what it's looking like. And I've already preheated my oven, you guys, to 350. That's already been done. Okay. So yeah. Let me know, guys, if there's a, a sweet treat that you want to um, see me make, or is it something? Also, let me know um, if you want to. If you guys want to go live sometimes and do um, cooking together, we can do stuff together. We can do baking together. You just have to let me know. Um, I do see your comments. I'm pretty interactive with the comments. If you guys leave me comments, I do read them. I, I, I may not respond to all of them, but you know, the first couple or I'll uh, spot read and you know, and I do respond. So I'm gonna hold this up so you guys can see what this uh, mixture is looking like, okay? So if you guys can see that, okay, that's what your dough should be looking like. Um, let's see, we don't actually have to make too many cookies because I did go to the store this morning and I actually picked up some uh, peanut butter cookies with M&Ms in there. But um, I want to show you guys how I really make them. Um, so this week um, in the kitchen, I decided to just go ahead and make some uh, myself to let you guys see. So I'm going to wash my hands. I'm going to come back and we're going to go ahead and get our pan sprayed. I'll be right back. I really need an apron, you guys. I think I need an apron. What do you guys think? You think I think I need an apron. Okay, so we have our handy dandy <laughs> baking dishes here. I picked up this canola oil, if you guys can see that, but you can use whatever you want. Okay, so this one, maybe we probably can get about four, four or five cookies in here. So I'm just gonna spray the bottom. Everybody knows how to spray a pan, so. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and spray, uh, it's choking me. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and spray this one. I'll just get it coated. That way your cookies don't stick. Okay. There we go. <coughs> be mindful, guys. You spray a lot, it'd be like choking. <laughs> so, okay. We'll put this here. We'll put this one here. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and get a couple of these cookies over into... The um, and however you want to do your your almonds and your uh, your um, white morsels, you can do it that way. You can add it over into your peanut butter mixture, but I think I'm just gonna put them on top. I'm gonna put them on top that way. If if uh, Carter or Trinity or the kids does not like the almonds, they could just take them off, okay? Because <laughs> you know, the kids are picky, at least my kids, they're very picky. <laughs> So, um, yeah, they could just take them off. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, get the cookies in balls like so. Um, you can do your cookies as big or as small as you want them. Um, it does not just necessarily have to be exactly how I'm doing mine. You can do yours however you like. But just for um, this video, we're going to make them like a medium-sized cookie. So... I'm gonna hold it up close so you guys can see. Okay. And again, I'm not gonna make too many because we already have uh, cookies already, so I don't wanna make too many. Okay. Roll, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, guys. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Okay, so we have about three, we have about five cookies on here. And then I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna put about uh, four. Yeah, about four. Maybe I take some of this dough off of here. Okay. Roll it, roll it, roll it. <laughs> here. You guys are so funny. Oakley Bear, uh, my dog Oakley, for those of you guys who are new, we have a dog, his name is Oakley. He's watching me. <laughs> He's watching me make the cookies. He's so funny. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Okay. And you know what? I think I need to add a little bit more to this one. Okay. 
three and one more add a little bit more it's so sticky i don't know i don't know if it's chill guys let, let me know if it's just me i hate stuff all over my hands but i'll be trying when i'm baking not to you know whine too much about it but i hate stuff all over my hands okay so in this one, three, five. So we have about nine cookies all together. I'm gonna wash my hands again. I have a little bit of batter left, but we just gonna throw, just so. <laughs> we had enough for one more cookie, but we don't have room. I think I need to get us a bigger baking sheet. So when I um, make cookies, I'm not sure if they have any baking sheets. Um, that's, well, I know they may have like the um, longer ones, but I don't know if they have really, really big um, baking sheets. They probably do, but I just haven't seen them. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna get a fork. We're just gonna get a handy dandy fork and we're gonna get these cookies mashed down. That way we can go in and go on top and add our almonds, okay? So we're just gonna push them down, nothing special, <laughs> okay? Push them down and once I do this, I'm gonna hold it up so you guys can see. Push it down, so I'm just like lightly pushing it down, not too hard, okay? push it down push it down okay then we're gonna come back um, let me show you guys so if you guys see how I did that and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna go in the other direction kind of like a tic-tac-toe box I know you guys have played tic-tac-toe when you were little <laughs> you played tic-tac-toe so that's kind of like um, what I'm doing here okay there and there Okay, so you guys can see that. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get our other um, pan. We're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna repeat that same step, okay? How many times have I said okay? <laughs> you guys know, you guys get it. Okay, we get that one, that one, that one, and that one. All right, so. All right, guys, next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with our almonds. Let's taste one of these bad babies. Okay, all right. Maybe I'll leave this one plain, just in case the kids, um, don't want almonds and I'll go ahead and add almonds on on these here also guys you can eat these just as a you know as a snack if you you know you're at work and just want a quick snack grabbing some almonds these are so pretty okay we have our almonds we're going to close these up because we're definitely going to use these in another dessert coming up pretty soon Okay, and we have our, let's see, our white baking chips. Just gonna go ahead and get a little, just a little snip in here. And we're gonna add some of these to the top of our, uh, to the top of our cookie. <laughs> I didn't see that. You didn't see that, guys. <laughs> I'm not going to add too many because I don't want them to be super sweet. Those nuts, those almonds are really good. Okay. So, I'm going to hold it up so you guys can see. Okay, guys, if you guys can see, I don't want them to fall off. So if you guys can see, you guys can see that. Okay, and we are going to leave these just plain, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get these over into the oven. Let's check our um, baking instructions for about 10 minutes. 
So we're gonna get in the oven for about 10 minutes and we're gonna come back and we're gonna see just how they turned out, okay? So I'll be right back. Okay guys, we have finally finished with our peanut butter almond cookies. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and get them pl uh, plated over into my uh, dish here. So let me hold it up. Let me let you guys see exactly how they came out. You guys can see that. It smells really good. You guys can see the almonds and the little uh, white morsels on there. Hmm. Yeah. So they came out really, really good. So yeah, if you guys want to try these, try them. Let me know uh, how they came out, if you like them. But yeah, they smell good. I wish you guys could smell them. Mm. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get them over here. It almost looks like a, you can have it as a holiday cookie, guys. Wow. Okay. Bring it a little closer for you. You guys can see that. Okay, I'm gonna bring the camera over over to where I am here. That way you guys can see um, more in detail. And the smell is amazing. Okay, let me flip the camera around. So if you guys can see that, they came out amazing. They smell really, 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 really good. So you guys get a chance go ahead and try them try them let me know um how they came out if you like them so yeah i bet the kids will have a ball with these okay guys so if you're new to the channel don't forget to like subscribe to the channel um come back each week for a different dessert idea um and yeah hope you guys get a chance to try them if you're a returning viewer thank you so much thank you thank you, thank you. i really appreciate you guys you can drop comments down below. Let me know what you think. Until the next video, guys. Peace.